Hello and welcome to PIX4D PPK Processing. First thing we're going to want to do is open up PIX4D Mapper and sign in. Then we'll go to New Project. We'll give it a name of the month, the day, and the year. And then some sort of name that's recognizable. So we're going to say Honeysuckle Post. This is a post honeysuckle removal imaging flight. So I should know what that is. And that's also the name of the data folder that I will be producing this ortho mosaic in. So I'm just going to put it in the proper folder, which is the processing folder within that data folder. And we'll hit next. Then I'm going to add directories instead of add images. And that way I don't have to add in the images individually. I can just add the entire folder of images in one click like that. We have 107 in there, so that looks good. We'll hit next. Then we're going to go into our coordinate system and hit edit. Just make sure that this is all correct with regard to the coordinate system we produced our PPK corrected data set in. So in our case, we have WGS84 as our coordinate system. And we know that our vertical coordinate system was in the orthometric MSL above the EGM-96 geoid model. If we had used NAD-83 2011 UTM zone 16 north for our projection, we would put that in here. But in this case, we used WGS-84, so that's good. We'll hit OK. And then we'll go to geolocation and orientation. And we're going to import that from a file. Make sure that the file format has the correct order that your data set is in. I'll show you what I mean by that. So here, this is our PPK corrected data set. If we open it up, we will see that we do have our latitude, longitude, and then MSL. So if we remember that, we can go see. So it's, we actually got to change it, latitude, longitude, and altitude. So then we'll hit browse, find that exact file in there. It's our corrected PPK locations, and we'll hit OK. Now we'll see that we have our geolocated images changed from 0 out of 107 to 107 out of 107. And if we look down here, we can see that our data fields have been filled in, so we know that that data went in properly. Go ahead and hit next. Then for our output coordinate system, we are actually going to change it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do NAD 83 2011 UTM zone 16 north as our projected coordinate system. We'll keep our vertical projected coordinate system in that same EGM 96 geoid model. And so we'll hit next. And this will likely give us a not responding message up here, but that's okay. It just takes a second. And now we'll choose our processing template, which is going to be the ortho mosaic and DSM model. Now, here we'll see that our flight path loads into the PIX4D over the uh, imagery base map and we can see all of our capture events, we can see the path of the flight, so that all looks good. If something is not looking good there then you likely imported your geolocation file in incorrectly being the latitude longitude orientation um, but this looks good, so we're going to go to our processing options. And under initial processing, we will check advanced. Make sure that our calibration method is set to standard. And that for key point image scale, we set it to custom half image size. Then we'll go down to number three. And for raster DSM method, we will choose triangulation and hit OK. Now we will click start. And if you want to view 
the processing you can hit the log output button and an output of the various parameters and processing procedures that pix 4 d is performing will display before you um, this is what I look at if for some reason part of the processing fails I can see where it went wrong what step it went wrong and it helps with troubleshooting after this processing is over I will show you the results in terms of the quality report and the outputs that are created by PIX4D.